I'm Scott Cannon from the Gas Drilling Awareness Coalition. Water turning black near drilling wells is becoming an alarming, regular occurrence. In Franklin Forks, Pennsylvania, several residences and businesses in one intersection of town had it happen. We still have the black stuff. It just it comes. It's like grit. Looks like sandblasting sand. Uh, the, when it dries, when it's wet, it it is it's a uh, sludgy slimy. gum. Slimy. It's really slimy. I've replaced the faucet already in my kitchen sink because it floods it up. In December of 2012, a business in Montrose reported that their water turned black 2,500 feet from a frack job. This is the story of Max Chilson. His water turned black a year and a half ago, the same day a nearby gas well started drilling about 1,200 feet from his home. He hasn't had clean well water to drink ever since. On May the 25th, 2011, uh, my water, I, I draw the washing machine full of water. The washing machine got jet black. That's when I called Chief, and I called DEP, which they came and took samples of and found it, it was bad. It's really black on this. This is just a little sample that was left where they took the black stuff off of different, different people that had been here wanted samples, and I kept giving them. But you can see it that, that uh, can you get a picture of that? This is called the Carrick Well. And the one atop of the hill, 1800 foot up the hill for me, is called the Allen Well. So you have two wells I'm caught right in the crosshairs of two wells. Yeah, I've lived here my whole lifetime. My father lived here his whole lifetime. And he raised a family here. We've never, ever had no problem with water. Our water's been excellent. Nobody ever got sick, is what I'm trying to say, from the water. So but they told me not to use the water. Don't drink the water. DEP told me that many, many times. Chief told me that every time they come, sometimes they was coming twice a week for uh, quite a while, maybe four or five months. And uh, every time they came, they drawed out black water out of it, and they said, don't drink the water. They always took a jug of the black water back with them. So uh, the, that, that was it. I didn't drink it. I didn't use it for nothing, only the toilet. I had. Uh, they agreed to haul me all the water I wanted to. At one time, they agreed to put me a buffalo tank out back, hook me all up on that. Well, they never kept their promise on that. So they decided to haul me five gallon jugs of water, which I had to heat on the stove for bath, dishes, and uh, drinking water I got from them. Chief Oil and Gas, who owns two wells on both sides of his property, wanted him to sign an agreement that would provide him a bigger UV water filtration system, $300 worth of filters, and denies any present or future responsibilities for Max's water turning black. If I didn't sign this, they were going to shut me off on water, which they kept their word. At the end of November 2012, I was shut off on water. So you, you didn't sign the agreement? No, I did not. Can you tell me why you didn't sign the agreement? Uh, I didn't think it was a good enough deal. They offered to put me a UV system in and give me $300 for filters, for the inline filter they put in. And uh, that was it. I'd be responsible for the UV system. If it went bad, I'd have to fix it out of my pocket. I, I'd have to buy all my filters after the, uh, the $300 was used up, they said they'd, they'd take care of me. We'll fix you up, Max. You don't have to worry about nothing. Every time they came, they said this. But every time they came, they didn't keep no promises. They're the ones that promised the water buffalo. They promised to drill me a new well. They promised to pull this pump, put in a whole new system, water, teeter, and everything. And none of it ever, ever happened. This was without me signing anything. They were going to do all this for me. Every time they come, they just 
told me another lie, one on top of the other, you know. And I had to go along with it. I had no choice, you know. So. Did you call your, your state officials about any problems? I, I, I called and made two appointments with Jean and went to his office. The secretary told me there was nothing he could do for me. So I just dropped that. I did call Tina Pickett, state representative, and she told me that, I, I, I can't remember the exact word, but in other words, she was saying that there wasn't nothing she could do. Um, DEP would handle it, you know? So that's why I was left. I didn't get no help from state officials. And I did call the county commissioners and uh, no help there. So I gave up on them. There was uh, another one that did a good job on testing my water. They found all these extra stuff in that really uh, Chesapeake and Chief doesn't test for it first, you know. But they found all these extra, this extra E. coli, coliform, and diesel, and manganese, uh, and uh, I don't know, just high readings on a lot of stuff that shouldn't be in the well. They put my filter on, I think, in November of 2011. Since then, I've been using my water for bathing with. I don't use it for dishes yet because I'm not that sure, you know. But the, the filter system uh, that they put on, the, the inline filter, it does catch most of the black stuff. So. I don't know what's in the black solids. They just call it black solids. They don't know what's in it. Chief don't know what's in it. DEP don't know what's in it. They don't know what it's from. And uh, so I haven't been given no answer on this black solid that's coming in my well. And I've never, ever seen that in nobody's water around here. This is a filler system that Chief put in. And that's all he did. <laughs> But this is a couple months old. You only get about a month out of these uh, before they turn black. On my well isn't the only one that's got impacted here. There's three other people, my next door neighbor and two neighbors below me. Now they're signed up with Chief. So Chief drilled one of them a new well and they paid for the other lady to have her uh, well cleaned, all new system put in, and to my knowledge, that well has not been corrected. So, the last I knew, the water, the same water guy that delivered my water, delivers her water. Right down there, 1,200 foot from my well, is a pad. They just got done a fracking this pad, and uh, now they're hauling waste. What's in the waste, who knows? <laughs> That's what people have got to be scared of, that stuff that comes back up with the gas. I believe it's very bad chemicals. Has Chesapeake Energy helped you to get your water situation fixed? Well, I called them, they came, Chesapeake was right here, and uh, they couldn't help me. They said, Chief had take, took the blame, they're to the blame for it, we can't help you. Even though my well is guaranteed under Chesapeake. My well is not guaranteed under Chief. If I signed up with Chief, I would not be having none of these problems. They would be working to correct it, which they just brushed me off. The DEP has come under fire recently for providing test results that didn't disclose all of the contaminants found in well water samples. Additionally, a DEP employee said that the department failed to provide its water specialist with training to help interpret lab reports and to identify contaminants that could signal Marcella shale related impacts. The DEP says it fully stands behind its tests. Well, I'm not asking no, none for money. I just want them to fix my well back up the way it was when, before they started drilling. So Max is between a frack and a hard place. The DEP doesn't know why his water turned black. Chief Oil and Gas denies any responsibility, so Max has to scrounge for his own water. Not a great way to spend your retirement. You're you're 80 years old. Yes. You know you've probably worked all your life to uh, you know enjoy retirement and. Yeah. 
Uh, how much does this inconvenience affect your life? Yeah, inconvenience, big time, because all the cost was on me. The laundry, the, the extra gas I had to use for heating my water for baths, dishes, and so forth. And so, and being that age then, I got a bad back, a bad knee, and it put a big strain on my life. Uh, losing your water is no fun. I wouldn't trade water for gas, no hell. <laughs> you know, your water's really worth a million dollars. If you, even that wouldn't be a good estimate for losing your water.